Here's Johnny. Hi. I'm back. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Miranda and welcome to my universe. It's been a hot minute since I sat in front of a camera and filmed a video. <laughs> it's literally been a, like more than a month, I'm pretty sure. Let's just say life is crazy. <laughs> but today I'm really excited for this video because I recently read a book and this said book was life-changing. Actually, it wasn't like really life-changing, um, but like it kind of was in a grotesque, supernatural kind of way. I'm gonna be talking about The Shining by Stephen King. For those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you know my rocky, history with Stephen King's books. <laughs> the first King book I read was Pet Cemetery, and I absolutely hated it. Two stars, wasn't for me, wasn't scary at all, very disappointing. But then, because I'm crazy insane and thought, you know what, I hated Pet Cemetery, but I'll give Stephen King another chance. And then I go out and buy one of his largest books ever and read it. I read It by Stephen King and I finished that this past summer. Um, it was phenomenal. And then, because I still didn't have enough and I wanted to know for sure that Stephen King's books are great and it was just one freaking pet cemetery that made me upset. So I went out and I read The Shining. <laughs> and let me just tell you this book. Five stars, amazing, so scary, wow, loved it. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you don't know what The Shining is about, it is a horror novel. I, I hope you would know that much. About this family, they are called the Torrances. The dad's name is Jack, he is our main character, or one of our main characters. He gets hired by the Overlook Hotel, which is literally in the middle of nowhere, and he is supposed to stay there, kind of hotel watch, I guess. It's kind of like house sitting, except for this giant hotel that's in the middle of nowhere, and they get snowed in because it's in the middle of winter, that's when the hotel is closed. Their whole duty is to basically keep the hotel clean, keep it nice, watch over it, make sure nothing happens. Spoiler alert, they did a pretty sucky job. I'm first gonna start with the cons because I enjoy ending with pros. I would say my main con with this book is the same as the other Stephen King books that I have read, and that is that it has a lot of spots in the story that I felt like were unnecessary. If you're unfamiliar with his writing, he is a very character-based author. He really likes to set the foundation of where they're at, who these people are, what their past looks like, what their current demons look like, what they're dealing with, what they have dealt with. So he definitely describes a lot. I enjoy descriptions sometimes if it is a creepy scene or if it is the setting, but a lot of the time I feel like this happened in It a lot. Yeah, it happened in all the books that I have read so far, actually. Stephen King tends to pick specific details about something and talk on and on and on about them. And in the end, they really didn't matter. But I feel like they were few and far between. That wasn't a super big issue for me. Now let's go on to the pros because your girl can't think of any more cons. All right, all right. Number one is scary factor. Oh my gosh, you guys, some of you might already know this if you've watched some of my other videos, but one of my biggest pet peeves in horror novels, specifically Stephen King, is that he'll write a story that has so much potential to be scary and I read it and the whole entire time I'm reading it, I'm not scared. But with The Shining, I can't emphasize this enough. It was so creepy. <laughs> I specifically read Stephen King's books at night to make them more scary. And that probably, with this one, yeah, it helped a lot, but listen. <laughs> if I was to read this in broad daylight, I'm telling you right now, I still would have been just as creeped out as when I was reading it at midnight. Okay? Stephen King is so good at describing and painting this picture and revealing things to you slowly, once, little by little, and you're just kind of like following the trail of crackers he's leaving and you're like, I literally have no idea what's at the end of this, but that's what makes it so exciting! Anyways, yes, very scary. 
loved it. The second pro that I enjoyed so much was that there aren't a lot of things in here that are really rated R. In a lot of Stephen King's stories, he tends to add a lot of disturbing elements, a lot of things that are in there that you, you were reading about and you think, oh my gosh, what is this? What's going on? Why is this in here? But in The Shining, there's, there's a lot of cussing, yes. So I feel like that's a big trigger warning. And obviously there's the gore, the horror aspects of it. But besides those, there's not a lot of things in here that are really rated R. I just liked the fact that there wasn't a lot in here that I felt like so overwhelmed with all of these disturbing things. It was more like he added a little bit disturbance right here, a little bit right here. But in It, for an example, I felt like there was a boom disturbing scene, boom, another one, like one right after another. But with The Shining, it was more laid back. The third thing I liked a lot about this book was the connections with the past, the present, and everything in between. Like I said before, Stephen King's writing is definitely very character based and it showed a lot. It always seems to show a lot in his writing and I loved it. I love being able to see why an issue came up before in the past and why it's coming up now. What are the connections between those? He just does a very good job with bridging all of the empty spaces in these characters lives and I think that just makes you appreciate them more but you also get super terrified of them more as well. And he finds this beautiful balance between all of your emotions while you're reading. So well done, honestly. I think that's why I love The Shining so much is just because Stephen King has this balance of everything. Everything that I'm feeling, there's some parts where I feel like, oh my gosh, this is really funny. And then there's a next scene that I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm really, really scared. Next scene where it's everything is super mellow and you're like, okay, what? is happening. I know something is coming up. What is it? I just kept guessing all of the time and that's what I love with horror novels. That's what I absolutely adore. Scary stories need to have that guessing kind of, of thought process that goes on in my head while I'm reading. I want to be able to not know what's happening and then if I was to ever find out, like think about what was happening and think, oh my gosh, I think this is what's gonna happen. I still want to be scared even if I'm correct about that assumption. I don't know if I'm making sense anymore. Um, I'm just kind of at this point where I'm rambling about how much I love The Shining, so I'm sorry. <laughs> the next thing I wanna talk about is kind of complicated to explain, <laughs> unless you have actually read one of Stephen King's novels and you understand what I'm talking about. King has a way of writing that makes you confused and creeped out and tense on the edge of your seat, all of the above. I feel like with all authors, you can't really explain the way they write, but I love the way Stephen King, he always adds in parentheses, all of these side thoughts. And really it's what the characters are thinking. It's just ingenious how he is able to incorporate not only what is physically happening, but also what is happening in his characters' minds. And sometimes he's able to do that with multiple characters on a single page. I loved it so much. I feel like that is prominent in all of his books, obviously, because that's the way he writes. But in The Shining, I felt like it did such a good job with the plot because the son Danny has this specific ability, this special kind of supernatural ability where he can hear people's thoughts. I feel like the way Stephen King writes fit perfectly with his character, fit perfectly with his dad, with his mom, with all of the characters in here. Because he can hear other people's thoughts, they say that he has the shining. And that's what this whole book kind of encompasses. The fact that Danny can hear all of these things and predict all of these things and he's correct about them. And this book just explores so many things. It explores so many deeper issues in both society and in humanity in general. I love that about this book. Anyways, I've talked on long enough. I love The Shining. This was a five star book for me. If you are even thinking slightly about reading it, I say go for it because even if you end up hating it, at least you learned something new because in Stephen King's books, I feel like you always learn something new. If you have read this book before, if you hated it, if you loved it, please comment down below so we can have a chit chat. All right, guys, that will be all for this video. I love you so, so much. Please be safe, make good choices, and I will see you next time.